Okay guys, today I am going to talk to you guys about my favorite hair products that have given me much better hair health. So my name is Jen Shell. welcome to my page, follow and subscribe for more beauty and fashion tips and let's get right to it. So this, I'm trying to do like all natural products. Um, I do have very damaged frizzy hair. It used to be curly, but because I've been straightening it for years and years and years, it's now just a frizzy mess. <laughs> so it gets very, very frizzy, especially like in humidity or anything like that. And it's way out here or if I hair dry or anything. So I am really trying to like change up my routine, do more all natural products and things that are just better for my hair health and getting it back to a better place. So these products have been amazing. I love them. My hair is not awful and beautiful right now because I need to wash it which is why I decided to do this video to show you what I use so actually you know where I'm gonna start with you guys is one thing I do before I wash is the night before I will do like a treatment for my hair and what that entails is this product right here this like hair and scalp treatment and I will put it see it's long neck you can it's really designed to go under the hair so you lift the hair up and you put it on I put it in sections like this and then um, you just massage it in and anything left over I put through the rest of the hair and then I also do the same thing with coconut oil all these products you guys will be linked below by the way so I'll do that with this do not overly saturate your hair like you definitely want to be generous with it but it should not be dripping down your face or down your neck or anything like that so put it in generously but not so much so that it, it's a ridiculous amount and you, and you get it everywhere so just the coconut oil and then I just will put my hair up in a bun or whatever and leave it all night long and then the next day I will wash it so what I do when I wash it is I've been using all natural shampoo and conditioner and it took me forever to find one that really worked for me I never used all natural before because it didn't work for me like I literally just could not find one that was good for my hair but this one is the first time I have okay it's all natural with organic ingredients you can tell right here by that small little list that this is not like a chemical based <laughs> shampoo so I again will link it below if you want to go check it out and read about it but this has been great so this is for hair growth it's called thick and full and um let's see if there's anything i want to read you guys with organic ingredients like aloe vera coconut oil amino acids and healthy nutrients to transform your hair completely it really does like you can feel how soft the texture of the shampoo and conditioner is when you wash your hair it just feels so good and because of it feels good afterwards too and because my curly hair texture I kind of had to find like a washing method that works for me and I literally wash my hair like three to four times so I'll just do like a pre-wash to kind of get all the oils and everything out especially if I do the oils overnight like I was saying usually when you do oils you do have to wash your hair multiple times to get all the oils out so I'll do one wash and then a second wash and lather up even more and then I'll usually do conditioner and I just use a little bit of conditioner and usually through the ends and then the rest of the hair and then I'll wash it one more time and that's how I do it literally every time I wash my hair sometimes at the very end I'll just put some conditioner in the very ends of the hair um, but that's it and then as I'm washing my hair I use a scalp massager this definitely feels great helps promote hair growth so and that's why I started implementing this into my shampooing routine so I have this linked but you can't find these at the dollar store <laughs> and then the next thing I do is rosemary oil so when I get out of the shower I will brush my hair with a wide tooth comb always with a wide tooth comb when it's wet and um, then I'll do like cut my hand put some water in it and a couple of drops of rosemary oil then I'll kind of like just mix it around and put it through like scalp area and then whatever that's left in my hand through the rest of the hair and this works really good for me and then as long as you guys don't mind the smell and then I will use because you know I'm gonna straighten my hair 
once it dries. I usually let it dry about 90% and then I'll blow dry the rest because my hair, for whatever reason, just looks best if it is blow dried. Um, it just looks more thick and full. So to protect it from the heat damage, I wish I could find all natural one and when I do, I'll do another video. But this one works so, so good. It is the damage remedy and I love it. So definitely can, again, click on the link and read all the great reviews on it. I just use like a pea size amount of around and put it in the hair. And then, Borpus brush. This has been a game changer. I've been using it for several years now. So boar bristles are just like known to be better for your hair health. You won't have the damage when brushing it and the breakage and it helps evenly distribute your natural oils from um, root to ends. So this has been great. And one last thing I want to go over. This is not all natural guys, but if you have coarse, thicker, I mean, coarse damaged hair like me that if you're going on vacation and humidity frizzes like really badly, this really, really helps. Okay, this really helps target that frizz. Follow the directions and do it as it says to get it to work the best. So this is a game changer on vacation and really helps, like I said, make my hair not so frizzy for days. And I actually have the big one of this. Um, at our Mexico home because that's where I tend to need it. <laughs> Mexico is definitely humid for anything where you know any humid place. You, if you have curly hair, you're gonna want this. So the oh also in humidity I do I will put like a little bit of the coconut oil through my hair during the day as well. So and that kind of helps tame the frizz as as well in addition to that. So those are my hair tips for you guys and I update hair and um, skincare throughout the year depending on you know the time of year and what I'm currently using and what's working so I hope you enjoyed that please like and give me a follow I'll be doing a lot more videos like this giving you guys tips and tricks so yeah thanks for watching